Hi friends, welcome to the next session. We are logged in to the controller as stack user. Our scripts are located into scripts slash Ubuntu folder. So the last time the script which I executed was about Horizon dashboard. Next script for Cinder block volume. There are four scripts. First, we'll install the software and let's see uh, what actually first script is doing. So 21 script number where it is actually creating the users, services and endpoints in the Keystone Identity and Access Management. So creating Cinder user, then adding the user to admin role, creating the service, creating service endpoints, internal, external. And in fact, we are creating two service endpoints, two categories. One is version two, second is version three. Both version of API will be supported. So let's execute this. Waiting for the Keystone to come up creating Cinder user, adding the user to the admin role, creating endpoints. That's it. This part is done. The next script, script number 22, is installing the software. Cinder Common, Cinder API, Chemo Utils, TGT, and Cinder Scheduler. And then it is configuring, changing the configuration setting in Cinder, Cinder.com file under etc folder the various actions default section for transport and database connection and auth strategy then keystone auth token section so it is setting up the details and then also it is populating the database making changes into apache also apache to the configuration available cinder wsgi.com file workaround for cinder honor permissions like cho cinder colon cinder slash etc slash cinder and restarting the services let's execute the script number 22 which is installing the packages and also making necessary changes in the, into the configuration files apache 2 configuration file the script number 22 is complete let's check the script number 23 the script is checking the ip address management node ip Installing the package LVM2 thin provisioning tools and it is using the second disk SDB which you can see in my machine. I have added a second disk, disk number two. This will be used for the cinder volume. So it is creating physical volume PV create, then volume group creation, and then uh, filtering setting filter into LVM.com file where we are allowing the disk to be added, SDB to be added. Verifying the same settings and installing Cinder volume and then making necessary changes into the appropriate configuration file. The configuration file here being again etc cinder, cinder.conf. After making the changes, it restarting and verifying, it will create a volume also. It will create a volume and then it will list the volume and then it will destroy the volume. So it will create a volume here. After volume is created, it will terminate it. So this is creating the volume. 1 GB volume will be created. It will verify once it is ready and then it will terminate the volume. Just verify the volume service. So it will display the volume, delete the volume and verify that it is gone. Let's execute step number 23. Now I can see sourcing the admin credentials, restarting the scheduler and after that it will populate the database and verify the service waiting for the sender. So you can see the sender LVM is running at controller, uh, at controller node. Now it is creating a volume. It's creating the volume here. So volume is created. It's verifying the volume is available and now it will terminate the volume. So volume is deleting. So, as, and next script is again verification script 24 number and you can see it is just verifying. It will just verify the volume service. So, let's run the script also do the verification again 24 number. In the repository of all these scripts, this is the OpenStack Z with the name OpenStack Z and this is the environment being used. ENP0S3 is the management interface and ENP0S9 is NAT to allow internet connectivity. 
ENP0 S8 is not configured. This will be used for external networking. So now it is done. So that's what we have completed the sender on the com controller node. In the next session, we will see setting up the compute node, the second node, where we will configure NOAA compute. With this, I'll wind up the session. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.